Hello and welcome to The Main Cave. Now in today's video I'm going to be running through how you can play Xbox Game Pass games on your LG TV via xCloud. Now this may work on other TV models but I only have access to the LG C1 and their WebOS which I have been using for the past few days and honestly it's far surpassed my expectations. The connection has been faultless and I've managed to play all of my Game Pass games without the use of my Xbox for hours on end. Okay, so to get started then there's a few things you need. Firstly and most obviously you need a TV that you have connected to the internet. For xCloud to work you will need a fairly fast internet and when I checked my TV was getting around 50-ish down and about 18 up. So it's not blistering speeds but enough to make the whole process very smooth and glitch free. To check your TV internet speeds just go to the LG WebOS browser and type in speedtest.net and it will show your up and your down speeds. Next, you also need to be signed up to Xbox Game Pass. I've signed up to Ultimate as this is the one that allows you to use xCloud. If you haven't signed up to the Game Pass before, you can get it for $1 or £1 for the first month, then it goes up to around $15, £11 or €13 Euros for every month afterwards. So if you haven't already, you need to go to xbox.com and sign up to the Ultimate package or upgrade if you're on one of the other packages. Finally, you'll need a controller. Now I've tested this with a PS5 DualSense and it works fine, but it just makes sense to use an Xbox controller as all of your prompts on screen are all designed around the Xbox controller. So once you have those three things, the first thing you need to do is connect your controller to your TV. You do this by holding down the settings cog on your TV remote so you get to the settings no matter what mode you're in. Then go to general, then devices, external devices, and click connect Bluetooth controller. Once you've clicked that, your TV will start searching and you'll need to grab your controller and put it in pairing mode. You do this on an Xbox controller by pressing the Xbox button till it lights up and then on the back holding down the sync button till the Xbox button flashes quickly. After a few seconds, your TV will confirm that it has found an Xbox wireless controller. Click on it and it pairs. Finally, click on the prompt that pops up and if you now look in the list of external devices, you'll see that in controllers you have a green ring around the controller icon. So once that's all done, all you need to do now is grab your remote and press the home button and scroll along to web browser. You may need to edit your app list to get this to show, but for most it will be in this app bar. Then once the browser is open, go into the URL bar and type in the URL xbox.com forward slash play. Now once it's loaded, it's a good idea just to bookmark it so you can easily get back to it. Now just use the remote and at the top right of the screen hit the three vertical dots and hit add to bookmarks. From here on and you can just use your Xbox controller, but I find it much easier to use the pointer of the LG remote. It's entirely up to you. So now it's to sign into your Game Pass account. Click on the sign in button at the top of the screen and go through the sign in process. Once signed in, you're good to go. You have access to all of your Game Pass games and your list of friends on Xbox, such as Oasis Mark, who helped me test this out. Fire up any game you like, here I will start with a very quick game that doesn't take up much bandwidth and that's Tunic. It takes seconds to load up and as soon as it's loaded up, have a look at the top left of the screen and you'll see a grid of 2x4 dots. Click that to bring up some options. The first is the view options. The one I select here is full screen as it gets rid of the grey bar at the top and it stops you accidentally opening the browser bar. Next on the tray is for touchscreen control, so you don't need to use that. And the final one is the Xbox guide. It's exactly the same as if you press the Xbox button on your controller. So next up then here is a much more intensive game and that's Forza Horizon 5. It appears to run at a good quality and a decent frame rate. One certainly comparable to the Xbox One, although I can't test it 100% for sure. It is excellent. I have no complaints whatsoever. On my connection, it was solid fast and no lag whatsoever. Next up I tried Fortnite, again this loaded up in a few seconds and ran very smooth with decent draw distance and again lag free. So there we have it then, there's how to play your Xbox Game Pass games on your LG TV without the use of an Xbox. Overall I found it far better than I'd ever hoped for. For me it was lag free, it was glitch free ran smoothly without a hitch. I hope you have the same experience as me. Please do let me know if you run into any issues or you want me to test any other games 
on my Xbox? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this helpful, please do like, please do subscribe, and until the next video, bye-bye.